guys, what's up? This is Mystical from a cup of death.com and in this video we're gonna walk through setting up the Hop Hog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition to use it with OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, so that you're able to stream to services like twitch.tv or hitbox.tv using OBS while using your Hop Hog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. All right, so jumping right in, you need three different things set up in order to do this. The first thing you need is your Hopog HD PVR2. It should be hooked up to your PC as well as whatever gaming device you're trying to use in order to capture that gameplay. So as you can see here in our screen, we have the Hopog HD PVR2 installed. We have the Hopog capture software that came bundled with the Hopog HD PVR2 installed as well as OBS installed and open. And here in our Hopog capture software, you can see we have an Xbox One hooked up to our Hopog HD PVR2. All right, so diving right in, how do we add Hopog to OBS? So in order to add the Hopog to OBS, first we're gonna, we're gonna wanna add a scene. So under our scenes, if we right click here and click add scene, you'll be having to give it a name. As you can see, we called ours Xbox One. Now that we have the scene, we have to have our sources underneath of that scene. As you can see, we already have a webcam added as a source. However, we have that unchecked because we don't want that to show up quite yet. Now to add the hop hog, we want to right click under the sources, go to add, and this is where most people have issues because they try to add the hop hog as either a video capture device or as a game capture device. You really must add the hop hog as a window capture device and you can leave the name as window capture or you can call it like I do, a hop hog. Now, under the window capture, we're going to want to select under the window the Hopog Capture window. That would be the Hopog Capture software window that we have open. And we're going to want to select inner window. Now, some people on some videos you watch, what they do then, because if we add this and then preview our stream here, you'll see that this captures the entire Hopog Capture software screen, including all the extra stuff that we don't necessarily want. Because in our videos and our streams and stuff, we just want the gameplay with then, you know, something over a webcam overlaid or whatever it is that you want overlaid on top of that. So, how do we fix this? Well, what some people do is, if we stop the preview, actually keep the checkbox, we'll right click, go to properties. They'll use a subregion. So they'll have the hot pod capture selected in a window. Click subregion, check mark that box, hit select subregion, and you can adjust this box to only cover the game screen. You can then press the OK button and it'll have that selected region as your thing. However, there is actually an easier way. And that is that if you have the hot pog added and under properties you have the inner window selected, when you double click on the game screen, the game screen in the hot pod capture software, it'll make it full screen on your monitor like this. Once it is full screen on your monitor, if we go ahead and bring back up our OBS and we'll have that. So let me bring that back up. Okay. So now that we made the hot pod capture software full screen by double clicking on it and we go to our open broadcaster, the same source, hot pod source that just has hot pod and interweb selected, no sub region. Now, when we preview the stream, you can see it is the full gameplay that we see. Now, if you go in and out of full screen, so here I will go back to the hot pod capture software, double click to go back out of full screen, which will pop it back into here. You can now see it's messed up here on OBS. In order to fix that, all we do is uncheck and recheck the box next to that source and it fixes it and puts it back. Although once you have this full screen on your computer and you're playing on your 360, you're more than likely gonna switch your TV or monitor source or whatever to your um, you know Xbox so it won't matter that this stays full screen and is covered up and if you have a second monitor you can actually drag OBS to the second monitor you know off the screen to the second monitor and then have this full screen on your first monitor and then you'll be able to still edit all your stuff in OBS and do all your things in OBS even while this is taking up one screen and this might be on the same monitor as your game system but once you change the source this won't even be in your way and you can have your OBS on your second screen 
which will still allow you to do stuff on that while you're playing your Xbox on your main screen. Okay. So that's it guys, it's really that easy. Um, it's nothing super complicated, like I said, it's just a little weird because everybody expects it to add a little differently um, in here, but it doesn't. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you also give us a thumbs up and a share if the video helped you out. It helps us out here at Cup of Death tremendously. And also by subscribing to our channel, it lets you know every week, every Tuesday when we release these tutorial videos, um, it'll give you a notification of that, as well as any other videos we release here on our YouTube channel. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. I'll see you guys in the game. Later.